Uh, my name is Bradley Goff, uh, Brad for short. I uh, grew up in Holt, Michigan. Uh, my name is Jim McGraw. Grew up in a small town north of here, north of East Lansing, called Chessonine. Uh, my name is Andrew Sandstead. I uh, grew up in Lansing, Michigan. So I'm an oil painter. In the last few years, I've tried to develop more into oil painting. Probably most of the work I get paid for is all the metal work. I do a lot of trophies, I do some signs, I do sculpture. I got married to my, my wife, Jen. It'll be 15 years in May that we've been together and uh, we've been married for coming up on 10 years now. I got married in 1964 to my wife, Pat. I've been married for uh, going on 54 years now. I have four boys, young men now. They're 20, 19, 16, and 14. My son, Archer, he's, he's, he's gonna be five in about a month. Best thing that's ever happened to me, for sure. I have uh, two adult sons, uh, Eldon and John, and their extended families. Pablo Picasso is a, is a huge influence. I think from a, from a sculpture standpoint, uh, hands down, Albert Paley. I always liked Salvador Dali because he always had his wild expressions. I just remember driving home from the museum and seeing the trees in a different way. Everything was moving and I could see the brush strokes and everything I was looking at. And so definitely Van Gogh. Another thing that was a big influence, I had a teacher in high school. And yeah, she's probably the person who started my art career, if you will. My high school art teacher was and still is one of the uh, biggest influences uh, on me as an artist. Early on I did some people, I did some portraitures, uh, mostly now landscapes. Abstract seascapes or marina scenes, oars and paddles, deer, you know, just kind of stuff you'd find around Michigan that is Michigan outdoor related. My my drawing and painting background has really helped as a sculptor because now I, you know, learning line work with drawing, how does that translate from, on a, you know, looking at a 2D paper or a wall, to a 3D object. Uh, as you're watching this video, you probably aren't seeing a sense of humor in me. I do have a sense of humor. That's when I felt most alive. It's like a painter's high. Not a shock value, it's just a try to be a little bit unusual. The process of, of growth that's happened in my sobriety has translated to every other area of my life. And it just it kind of came to the point where um, I decided, hey, I'm gonna make a go at being an artist.